거의 잊고 있는 옛날의 과거? 그렇게 생각을 하더라고요. 하지만 절대 잊어서는 안 되는 과거. 그때 희생하셨던 분들이 고맙죠. 앞으로는 그러한 일이 전혀 없게끔 해야 되고. The Korean War has anything to do with like World War II? It's called the Forgotten War, I know that. I guess unfortunately through shows like MASH and the movie. At the truce village of Panmunjom, a single line separates South and North Korea. 62 years ago, in 1953, the Korean War Armistice Agreement was signed here. Today, the armistice reflects the enduring commitment to the international community to preserve. In actuality, the Korean War has not ended. Why did the Korean War break out? There are differing views and analyses on the cause of the war. One night, uh, 24 hours after Nagasaki was hit in August of 1945, three people, two very powerful uh, people, uh, John McCloy and Dean Rusk, and a third military man, divided Korea at the 38th parallel. And they didn't, in, they didn't ask anybody else, lead, let alone Koreans. So we have to distinguish between the five-year process leading up to the war, which involved steps on both sides and by the Americans and the Soviets and the Im immediate outbreak of the war which was initiated by the North against the South. 실질적으로 45년부터 50년 사이에는 냉전이 아직은 유동적인 상황이었어요. 완전히 확정된 상황이 아니기 때문에 그 시기에는 우리가 통일 국가로도 갈 수가 있고 분단으로 갈 수도 있고 전쟁으로 갈 수도 있고 안갈수 있는 상황이었는데 그런 유동적인 국제 상황에서 우리가 결국은 전쟁이 일어나고 분단이 일어났다는 거는 기본적으로 내부적인 부분들이 굉장히 중요한 게 아니냐. June 25, 1950, North Korea's invasion of the South marks the beginning of the Korean War. Conflicts of ideology between the South and the North triggered armed provocations and eventually war broke out. Uh, there have been some sort of very progressive U.S. Uh, historians who have tried to assert that South Korea started it. And certainly North Korea's story is that the South started it, but it's very clear North Korea tried to reunite the peninsula on communist terms on June 25, 1950. Many view the Korean War not just as a civil war, but a proxy war. What made the Korean War really particularly destructive was the involvement of international actors, first the Americans and then the Chinese. So it was, it was a, a, a combination of a civil war and international war, which made it a, a very brutal and destructive conflict. The United States, in its campaign against communism, quickly sent its troops, and the United Nations joined the fray with UN member nation troops. Out of approximately 1.9 million UN forces, 40,000 were killed in action on Korean soil. To honor the sacrifice of the UN forces, the Korean government observes the UN forces deployment day on the anniversary of the Korean War Armistice Agreement. Without a United Nations support, we'll never be where we are, and their contribution is, is just unbelievable. The three-year war between South and North Korea left indelible scars. Over 5 million casualties and some 10 million separated from their families. Most of the land was left in ruins. No one expected South Korea to rise from the ashes of war to achieve its current economic success. North Korea in some ways was worst off from the war in that they didn't win it uh, and their entire face of the country was destroyed. The cities were razed by firebombing. Uh, terribly poor country after the war. They did have the support of the Soviet Union and China and Eastern European communist countries in rebuilding, but not nearly at the level of American aid to South Korea. One of the world's poorest countries following the war, South Korea has become the world's 13th largest economy. Meanwhile, North Korea continues its third-generation dictatorship and increasing isolation from the international community. 갈등을 더 증폭시키는 방향으로 정부 정책들이 이루어진 거죠. 
그리고 그 유산이 지금까지도 아주 뿌리 깊게 남아 있는 부분들이 있고요. 그러니까 저희가 얘기하는 게 남북 간의 갈등도 얘기하지만 남남 갈등 얘기를 합니다. 사우스 사우스 컴플렉트라고 하는. 그러니까 지금 남쪽 내부에서의 사회적인 갈등이란 부분들이 조정되지 않으면 사실은 분단이란 문제를 해결하기 어려운 부분들이 있고요. Korea has been a unified state, a unified polity for most of its history over the last 1300 years. So in that perspective, seven years of division is not a very long time. But in the near term, unification will be very difficult. We need to do a lot of preparation to identify the issues, the, the decisions that will be need to be made. But it's to whatever president and people at the time and the mood in South Korea and the U.S. is for what happens to the alliance, what happens to uh, North Korean regime. Now they are gray-haired war veterans. The war veterans who withstood the generation of war have gathered in one place. 중고등학교 친구들이 13명이 모여서 의논을 했어요. 야 이렇게 도망간 다 이렇게 아니라 우리 젊은 사람으로서 이거 그냥 젊은 혈기에 국가를 위해서 죽냐 생명을 바치냐 어쩌다 저다 떠들다가 그럼 우리 같이 입대하자. 그 총을 이무왕 소총에 내 키하고 똑같았어요. 그거 이게 나 아주 그러니까 무거운 거를 들고 이제 쫓아가는데 가서 제가 조그만 사람이 제일 먼저 선두에 서서 이제 공격 명령을 따라서 갔는데 어이 뒤 사람이 막 죽고 하는데도 겁이 없었어요. The sudden and unexpected war threw many young lives under artillery shells and gunfire. And instead of pencils and backpacks, they had to pick up rifles and fight for their survival. 저는 전쟁 당시에 위생병이었습니다. 치료를 하면 인사 불성된 사람들이 그 정매 주사를 넣으면은 100cc짜리가 한 70% 들어가면은 눈을 뜨기 시작합니다. 눈을 뜨면 인사 불성된 사람 동공이 커집니다. 그게 뜨면서 아, 여기가 어디입니까? 제가 그때 17살입니다. 17살인데 정말 기가 막힐 정도로 어그 살아나는 그 과정을 볼 적에 눈물이 막 쏟아져요. The hellish battles streaming up and down the Korean peninsula. South and North Korea met once again at Panmunjom. Soldiers at the front lines awaited news. The Korean war would be halted through a ceasefire. 우선은 솔직한 얘기다. 에이 이제 살았구나 했다. 우선은 그 인간적인 욕심입니다. 적들도 휘청되고 우리도 휘청되고 그러던 상태에서 그러니까 도저히 서로 어, 전쟁을 감당하지 못하니까 휘전이라는 문제를 정전이라는 문제를 들어갔죠. 정전, 휘전, 평화 이세 가지 아니에요. 그때 휘전됐다 했을 때는 뭐다 우선 안도를 했죠. 그렇지만 이게 뭡니까? 참, 통일도 못하고 그렇게 되시니. 끝까지 해서 통일을 하고 말아야 되는데 아주 그냥 분했죠. 그러고. The war came to a halt, and time has passed. Now, gray-haired and elderly, these Korean War veterans rekindle their memories of war. According to statistics from the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs, 87% of the 390,000 registered Korean War veterans are over the age of 65. The number of surviving Korean War veterans receiving state benefits as of last month is at 150,000, leaving nearly half of war veterans unaccounted for. And the less recognized heroes of the Korean War, the female volunteer soldiers. Early this year, 16 female Korean War veterans received national merit recognition. Lee chang -e is one of them. Her black and white photographs speak louder than words.
Yi, just 19 at the time, put aside her fears and toured the battlefield performing to raise the troops' morale. Yongsan들을 사기를 돋가줘야 되기 때문에 주로 빠른 거, 씩씩한 거 그런 것들 행진곡을 많이 했어요 주로 보람물 느낌입니다. 아주 우리가 직접 좀뭐총 들고 싸우지는 않았지만은 악기 들고 음악을 하면서 여러 군인들이 사기를 돋가주기 위해서 돋가주고. The Korean Peninsula remains the only divided nation in the world today, with a less than complete form of peace being sustained. We all have to go to the North Korean Peninsula. We all have to go to the North Korean Peninsula. We all have to go to the North Korean Peninsula. We all have to go to the North Korean Peninsula. We all have to go to the North Korean Peninsula. A faraway country calls for help to stave off an attack from the north. We were a National Guard unit, and the President of the United States called us up to go to Korea to help salvage South Korea. But nobody want, nobody's interested in it. That's our problem. Even my children don't know enough of what happened. Cedar City, Utah, in the United States. The Korean War Memorial was established here as it housed the headquarters of the 213th Field Artillery Battalion, the unit deployed to the Korean War. This was the headquarters of the 213th Field Artillery Battalion. This was the command and control uh, headquarters, and so we thought it would be proper to have the monument at battalion headquarters city, Cedar City. There is also a miraculous piece of history etched in the city. At that time, most of the young battalion from Utah were deployed to the Battle of Kapyong. It was a fierce, deadly battle, but all 600 troops from the 213th Battalion returned home safe and sound. The battle, iterated as the miracle of Kapyong, was led by then-Lieutenant Colonel Frank J. Daly, commander of the 213th. Following his return, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Daly was hailed as a hero. His son Eugene and his wife show us the medals and newspaper clippings that at least tell in part Frank's story. Well, this picture up here, actually, uh, which is... Eugene was also incredibly proud of his father, though he was only two when his father went to war. You can see that he had the brown hair, and at that time, I think he weighed about 184 pounds, uh, and that was just prior to him going to Korea. And when he returned from Korea, uh, he weighed 146 pounds and had gray hair. All white hair. All white hair. Mm -hmm. It wasn't gray, it was white. <laughs> the tension and fear felt on the battlefield, the experience of killing enemy soldiers to survive, for Frank Daly, may have been memories best not recalled. I do remember uh, growing up and dad uh, not sharing a whole lot of information. And I think it was because uh, that was a time of his life that he did all he could do. And, and he, it was horrific. Yeah, and it was, a, it was kind of a nightmare with, with what he went through. There are many Korean War veterans who do not talk about the Korean War. Jack Howell and Richard Howell both fought in the war. The two of them are cousins. They live near each other and have spent years together, but they say they rarely speak about the Korean War. Well, to be honest with you, I've tried to forget it. 
my experience over there wasn't very much fun, but like I say, I was in combat just about every day I was over there, so it's, uh, and I think that's what a lot of people try to do now, is they try to remember too much of that stuff instead of going forward with their lives. And uh, it, was, it wasn't a good experience, but I'm really glad that it, things turned out the way they did for South Korea. And we're grateful that we have a part in it. What's it say? <laughs> 이 사람은 유엔 군이다. And we wore that. We had this on the back of our, our jacket. Uh, uh, or on the back of our jacket. The two cousins were in their early 20s when they went to fight in the war. They didn't know much about what a war was. They say fighting in a faraway country was just a duty to them. Pride was not an issue. I didn't. I didn't do it for, for recognition. I just done it as part of my duty as a, as a military man. We, we wish him the best. Uh, even thank him for uh, accomplishing what they have done in the past and, and continued success. It was successful, and we did some good. This was worthwhile to us. Yeah. I mean. Is your grandmother still alive, or is she they're still doing well over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. But not all Korean War veterans are reluctant to bring up memories of the war. Korean War veteran Albert Cooper is currently a radio DJ. For the last 14 years, Cooper has been talking about the Korean War and Korea through his broadcasts. As I stood there recently, my mind went back to that long ago fall day, and I felt the touch of the kind bus driver's hand on my shoulder and heard again his words, You're home. And my heart today, remembering response it's good to be home I do that on my radio program probably once each year and hope the kids are listening that that other generations will He believes that while war may not always be the answer, because there were sacrifices of veterans like himself, the following generation can live in a much more peaceful world. Cooper believes that his war experiences are nothing to hide, but something to share so that tragedy is not repeated. That I needed to be proud of what my generation had done. And I decided that I wasn't going to be a quiet American veteran anymore. And so I have worked hard to appreciate the privilege that I had to be a part of that effort, to have gone somewhere far away to fight for another people whose names I had a hard time even remembering. But I'll never forget Chao Wa Bin. I'll never forget Mr. Han. Uh, I'll never forget uh, any of those people that I got to know there, including an enemy soldier. Just like any other day, Cooper remembers his years as a soldier when he gave his all in the name of freedom and peace as he pledges to continue telling the stories of the Korean War. The sons and grandchildren of Frank Daly, who led the Battle of Kapyong, visit what was the bloody battlefield. By talking to the townspeople, those who witnessed the war, and just by being there, they relive Frank's experience and come to understand him in a new way. She said, the lady, you need to follow me. Let's go together to the, the north. north. Yeah, because it's a big guy. Those guys coming. Yeah, those are coming. Yeah, those are coming. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm looking around and I see everything so green and so beautiful and so lush. But um, it is hard to imagine that it was not like this before. You know, all the trees were gone and probably, you know, burnt hills everywhere. Um, all these years, I didn't really have much detail about what my grandfather did here. Even my dad and my uncles, you know, they didn't really know either. I think leaving this time overall, I'll, I'll just leave with a feeling of uh, how overwhelmingly grateful that the Korean people are for all that the veterans did here. So, I don't know, it makes you feel proud that, you know, my grandpa was involved in that effort. So, it's pretty special. Mary Borovitz operates an orange farm in San Diego County, California. Born and raised in the U.S., like many Koreans, Borovitz shares a painful past from the Korean War. Her father, Colonel Arthur Chidester of the United States Marines, served in the Korean War just like it is for a very long time. Just seven years old when her father was deployed to Korea, Mary remembers a man who was warm, considerate, and wrote letters like these to her on her birthday. And most successfully too, according to reports I heard from She couldn't understand back then why a war in a country she'd never heard of was responsible for tearing her loving father away from her. Attack down here at Yudongni. All the time when um, I was growing up, even through high school, I never really connected that well with the man she married. It was very hard for me. And often I would have a fantasy that maybe he'll come home. Maybe he'll take us away from all of this. Um, but it never happened. The father she missed so much. The father she longed for to be by her side. But in the end, it wasn't her father who came home. And I keep letters of it was a letter. 20 January 1954, informing you of the finding of death in the case of your son, Colonel Arthur A. Chittister. This was written to my grandmother. They say her father was killed in action during the Changjin Lake campaign. His remains believed to be in North Korea. Well, for me personally, my hope would be that we would be able to get into North Korea and do some excavations and actually find his bones. I don't know if I'll be able to get the bones back of my dad before I die or not, but I'll keep asking those questions, keep attending the meetings, and keep saying we need to. Try. We need to keep trying. Can't give up. Over 150,000 UN troops were injured or killed during the Korean War. There are some 10,000 UN troops whose remains have not been found. Some are missing in action or are thought to be prisoners of war. A significant number of those are expected to be in North Korea. But the North Korean regime, under its authoritarian rule, continues its isolation from the international community with its military provocations. It's very difficult to continue excavating operations in North Korea. The South Korean government has established an agency and has been working with the U.S. Department of Defense to recover the remains of soldiers killed in the Korean War on domestic soil. 미국하고는 2000년부터 미 국방성과 대한민국 국방부 간의 협약을 체결해서 미군에 대한 유해를 발굴 시 미국에 송환토록 되어 있어서 현재까지 미국은 저희가 10명을 발굴해서 미국에 송환했는데 그 중에 5명이 신원이 확인되었습니다. And while these efforts continue, the South Korean government is inviting bereaved family members to Korea. 
Once they arrive, a memorial ceremony is conducted for the missing soldiers. A tour of the battlegrounds and a briefing on the progress of the excavation mission are provided. Robert Morin lives about an hour's drive from Los Angeles. He visited Korea in May. Robert Morin says his thoughts and opinions on his missing father and the Korean War has changed. He has a special project he's been working on with his wife ever since he returned from Korea. They are quilting artists and this project has a thoughtful inspiration. We normally don't work in unison. We typically do our own projects, but we do them in the same room. It's the most solid, tangible way that we could express truly our love and our gratitude for what happened. Since we got back from Korea... Robert Morin says he was touched and impressed by South Korea's expression of gratitude toward the missing soldiers and their so families. The extravagant the quilted blanket patriotic. combining the South Korean flag, or taegukki, and the American flag the is made with materials he acquired from his trip to South Korea. So name is the names of other missing soldiers have been painstakingly embroidered around the edges. He wanted to express his support for the other bereaved family members. My father's remains will never be brought home. But I'm also okay with that, and I'll tell you why. When I saw my dad's name at the Memorial Hall in Korea, I realized this is his final resting place. And this is, this is truly where he died. It's where his body is, and it's where his memorial is. And things are as they should be. I don't need more than that. The devastating three-year war. The armistice that leaves behind an imperfect state of peace. Many heroes were born from the war, while many were lost, leaving behind deep-rooted scars. 62 years after the signing of the Korean War Armistice Agreement, the fact that the war is technically not over means the war is not forgotten and that it is not an issue reserved only for Koreans. To me, what is the Korean War? A very sad, sad affair. We were offering up our lives for the benefit of other people. And that's something that we should not be allowed to forget. Such a war as this should never happen on the Korean Peninsula again. Well, 동족 상징이 그렇게 무서운지는 지금 몰라서요. 우리가 이게 가기 전에 우리들이 이 후세대들에게 교육을 시켜줘야만 되겠다. Whether you want to call it absorption of the North by the South or simply uh, the expansion of freedom and democracy uh, throughout the Korean Peninsula, it really has to be that. 남북 관계 트러스트, 남한 내부에서의 공감대, 그 다음에 국제 사회에서의 특히 미국과 중국의 입장. 요 부분들이 해결돼야만 이제 평화 레짐으로 갈 수가 있고 이게 평화 레짐으로 간 다음에 야 저는 유니피케이션이 가능한 게 아닌가. We have to be more generous, patient, and uh, try to help any which way. Because um, uh, there are our there are our families, our people over there. It's not like uh, some strangers.